Thanks for joining us for the post show debrief. Thanks for being with us. I'm going to be taking uh, I'm taking some time tomorrow in Washington D.C. I'm going to the Capitol uh, to talk with a number of uh, leaders about in critically important issues. As you know, I've been talking for weeks now about the importance of solving problems, not simply talking about them, continuing to participate in an exchange of rhetoric with uh, uh, competitors on, the, on any number of issues, just shouting by each other and not listening to one another. I'm going to try as an active and engaged citizen to actually do something. Uh, imagine that. Uh, something positive, something constructive, and not simply engage in uh, you know, uh, rhetoric uh, uh, over issues that continually uh, are perpetuated rather than resolved. So to, I'll be in Washington uh, talking with the, on the issues of uh, primarily uh, sustained economic growth that will create jobs in this country. I believe it's important to begin to focus on exports, to focus on our manufacturing uh, sector and this economy and to restore it. And I have a number of ideas I'm going to be discussing with uh, business leaders and government leaders in Washington uh, to try to create that. And I think we can do it in, again, relatively short order uh, and move toward real problem solving instead of uh, continuous uh, debate and partisan debate usually at that. I'm also going to be talking with a number of people in Washington about the critically important issues of illegal immigration, border security, and port security. Uh, as you obviously I, I would assume know, my position is well known on the issue of illegal immigration. I'm against it. Uh, and the issue of border security and port security, I believe fervently that we have got to establish uh, border security and port security for the good of the nation and the safety of the American people. It seems straightforward to me. Uh, but there's a lot involved. And I am one of those people who has said from the outset that we need a rational, effective, humane immigration policy in this country. But we can't create such a policy unless we control immigration itself. And the only way to control immigration in this country is to be in control of our borders and our ports. Uh, we're going to be talking about a number of ways to achieve those goals, all of them, contemporaneously, not sequentially. We're going to talk about how to reach a compromise that makes sense, that brings the necessary labor to the United States that we need to drive this economy forward in the years ahead, uh, the way in which we can secure these borders and, the, and these ports. Not a PR posture, but true, absolute, operational control of our borders. Uh, I'm going to meet with a number of people in good faith, uh, with, uh, with good cheer, in the hope that we can actually get something done. I've asked a couple of people, do you think I can do this? And they have said, no, I don't think you can do this. Uh, and, and they may be right, but as I have said more, on more, more than one occasion, I truly believe I've got to try, because I think we have the opportunity right now to talk about real compromise and create a real resolution to these issues. I'm going to give it everything I've got, and I may get my tail kicked, but nonetheless, I'm going to try like the Dickens. I hope uh, I'll have your support, your understanding, your help, your thoughts, uh, and yes, even a few prayers as we embark on this. Thanks for being with us. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.